Hello, my name is Jules uh, from Order 66 Creatures and Effects and we've built a character from Star Wars The Force Awakens uh, called Gromgar. It's got stilts that bring you up to that height and it's got articulated hands so you can kind of grab things like the creature and um, it can articulate the head so you can actually open, close your mouth as you talk. It's got built-in uh, voice changer so you can actually sound like Gromgar. <laughs> Gromgar took us exactly a hundred days to build. The biggest challenge building this costume would probably be making it as light as possible because it's such a huge costume. A 2 meters 70 tall, I mean this thing's going to weigh a ton. It weighs about 20 kilos and the whole costume weighs about 70 kilos. You've just got to try and lift each 20 kilo foot as you walk and it's really hard to wear for anything more than 30 minutes at a time. You've got to be some kind of superman to do that. I've been a Star Wars fan since I saw the first Star Wars movie back in 1977. I actually made my first Star Wars costume when I was about seven, just after seeing the first Star Wars movie. And it was a Darth Vader costume, so I've been doing it for a long, long time, and it was just a, a paper mache um, helmet made on a balloon. And I pinched my, my grandfather's sunglasses and took the lenses out of them and glued them onto the helmet. And I actually entered my very first costume competition then and I won it. So I was, that was it. That set me on a, on a life path of making Darth Vader costumes. High five. Ooh. High five, Mark. This is my hand and I'm, I'm fairly big. So my, my hands are pretty big, but compared to Grumgar, they look like a peanut. Um, and we made these hands with extensions on the arms so that when you put your hand in, it extends your arm by quite a lot. And then when you wiggle your fingers, so does Grumgar wiggle his fingers. 